Alongside Darren Dreger, I'm Gino Retta. The insiders are getting set for the season debut of Insider Trading coming up later today on Sports Center with some early insights. Here's Darren Dreger now joining us from his home office. Dregs, NHL camps are opening up right across the league this week. And of course, we point the, the finger at the restricted free agents right now. A lot of guys looking for contracts before camps open it up. Good news for the Buffalo Sabres. Peyton Krebs signed a new two-year, $2.9 million deal earlier today. What other players are making news on the restricted free agent front right now? Yeah, there's still some big names, Gino, as you know, and it's a nerve-wracking time of year for these young players looking for their next contract. If you want to start at the top of the food chain, uh, I think you have to look at the Boston Bruins and Jeremy Swayman. There's ongoing dialogue there. That's not new. They've been talking for quite some time. The Bruins will tell you that it is priority to get this guy signed. Both sides looking at a long-term commitment. He will be their number one. Jeremy Swayman has basically been in the Boston area training with his teammates all off-season long. But there is still a gap, and the countdown has begun to the opening of training camp. So positive vibes coming out of Boston, but it's not done yet. Then I look at the Dallas Stars, and I see Thomas uh, Harley, who's coming off a terrific year last year. This guy had 15 goals and 32 assists, 23 years of age, huge defenseman, six foot four. He's an important piece in terms of this season and the future of the Dallas Stars. But I'll also remind on all of these restricted free agents, Gino, no different than Peyton Krebs and the Buffalo Sabres. A lot can change with a phone call. And then I look north of the border and I see the Cole Perfetti situation with the Winnipeg Jets. Cole is feeling great, and that's huge for him and the Jets as an organization, given his history of injury. He has worked out hard all season long. They continue to work on uh, the framework, uh, framework of what his next contract will look like. It's likely going to be a two-year bridge. Again, there's a gap, but there's ongoing back and forth between those two sides. So there's at least a few names for us to focus on as we get ready for the start of NHL training camps. And there's some international hockey news today as well, because the CHL, of course, canceled its Super Series between Canada and Russia for obvious reasons. But now the CHL wants to get back to international hockey, and now they're looking south of the border, Dregs? They are, and uh, it's a Canada-U.S. rivalry here, Gino. And I can tell you that there's a bit of a buzz around the National Hockey League just looking forward to this. Right around the corner, November 26th and 27th, the London Knights will host one of those, or at least the city of London. And Oshawa will host the other evening in a two-game series between a collection of Canadian Hockey League players. So you're talking about a really an all-star cast of the top draft eligible players. That's important to note from the Western Hockey League, the Ontario Hockey League, and the QMJHL. They will go up against the U.S. Development Program. Again, first-year top draft eligible players. The National Hockey League is excited, so they'll have a hand. They'll make recommendations on who they see as the top players, but ultimately it'll be up to the National Development Team and the CHL to determine the rosters for these two clubs. It's going to be a good event. It adds another device to the calendar of the Canadian Hockey League and the U.S. Development Program. Man, a lot's going on. A lot of news for you guys to work on. Just a sneak peek at some of the stories our guys are going to be working on for the season debut of Insider Trading coming up later today on SportsCenter.